Hi everybody and welcome to a short video in which we are going to look at finding the perimeter of shapes. Now, one of the more common mistakes I find in class is that learners kind of know how to do this, but very often confuse perimeter and area. Because, of course, if you look at an exam question, they look very similar. You're given a shape and you're asked to find one or the other. So how do we decide which is which? Well, the way I look at it is I consider my house. Think about where you're living. Maybe you have a house, a yard, a garden. And let's just say you decide you want to build a fence right the way around your property. If you did that, that would be a perimeter fence. It goes around the perimeter of your land. So how would you work out how long that fence needed to be? Well, you'd get your tape measure out and you would measure right around the outside. And that is what perimeter is, the length of the outsides. So let's apply that to a few shapes. Let's start on the top left hand side where I have drawn a square. Now, the one thing we know about a square is that all four sides are the same length. So a perimeter is measuring around the outside. So all we need to do here is eight plus eight plus eight plus eight. Therefore, the perimeter is 32 centimeters. And the rectangle is exactly the same with a rectangle we have two opposite sides are equal. The method is exactly the same. It is 10 plus 7 plus 10 plus 7. Or the perimeter is 34 centimetres. Now we need to know a little bit about these shapes. And I've drawn the same two shapes again here, but with different measurements. If you look at the top side, there may be a situation whereby you are asked to find the perimeter of a square but you are only given the length of one side. So it is important that you know that a square has four sides the same as you will be asked to work out the length of the other sides before you add them up. You've then got six plus six plus six plus six, 24 centimetres. And it's similar with a rectangle. If you look at the one here, we've got a rectangle and they've told us that one side is nine centimetres and the other side is five, but they haven't given us the length of the other two sides. So we need to already know that with a rectangle, the opposite sides are the same. If the top is nine, the bottom is nine. If the left hand side is five, then the right hand side is five. We have then got nine plus five plus nine plus five, 28 centimeters. Let's move on and look at the perimeter of a slightly different shape. Now here things look a little bit more complicated simply because there are more sides. But in fact, it just means that you have to take a little bit more care to make sure that you don't miss any of the sides out when you are adding up. So it is 7 plus 2 plus 5 plus 4 plus 12 plus 6. And if you add them all together, that becomes 36 centimetres. Just check to make sure that you've included every side. Now, let's have a look at a similar shape. I put different measurements on here again. We've been asked to find the perimeter. Now, the biggest mistake that is made with this kind of question is that you simply add up the outsides and find the answer. But look more carefully. We have this side is 20. 12 and 12. We have a 7 and an 8 here, but we have a side for which they have not given us the length. So before we can find out the perimeter, we need to work out what that side is. How do we do it? Well, if we have a look at this side here, we know that the height of the shape from top to bottom is 12. So that is true all the way along the shape. That means that this line here from the top going all the way down is 12. Now we know that up to here from the bottom is 7. 
because it's the opposite side of this rectangle here. So that is 7. The total height is 12. So this bit here must be the other 5. So that 7 plus 5 make 12. And once we know that, we can simply go back to our method of adding up all the sides, including the new one that we've just found, and we would get 64 centimetres. Here's another example, just to be sure. Let's find the perimeter of this shape. Well, we have an 8, a 6, a 4, and a 3. But in this case, they've not given us this side here, or the small side there. Therefore, we have to work them both out. Let's have a look at this side here. Well, we know that from end to end, this shape is 8 centimetres. We also know, because of this bottom line, that this line here is 4. So from 4 up to 8, that side there must also be 4, so that 4 plus 4 equals 8. Looking at the other missing side, well, we know that the height is 6. Therefore, we also know that if this line here is 3, because it's the other side of the rectangle to this one, for that to be 3, then this must also be 3 in order for 3 plus 3 to equal 6. Now that we have all our sides, we can add them all up to 28 centimetres. Don't forget, give your answer in the same units as appears in the question. Centimetre for centimetre, metre for metre, and so on. And that's perimeter. So, don't forget the perimeter fence that goes round the outside of your garden or your house. That's perimeter. So area must be the other one that we're going to look at in another video. And I'll post the link here. Thank you very much.